public health emergency of international concern. This particular epidemic may be about to become a global epidemic. Lady Sawami Li, 170 people. We now have a name for the disease. It is COVID-19. The pandemic is accelerating. We uh, did not see the opportunity anymore uh, to organize uh, Olympic Games. The risk level has risen from moderate to high. I was at a hospital. And 100,000 people have now died as a result of the coronavirus. <laughs> Hi and welcome to a new episode of the Night of the Jumps E FMX World Championships. What's the E stand for? Well, it's about esports, even though technically this is virtual sport because it's been pre-recorded and the guys know they've got to put their best run together. And we've given them a good solid week to put their best freestyle run together on the brand new game TIMX. This is Motocross. This is Motocross, the revolutionary new mobile motocross game developed by Aussie Adrenaline Game Studios. Stay low and save time in the air with the TIMX epic new scrub feature. Ride multiple disciplines such as motocross, supercross, and freestyle motocross. Express yourself with a huge variety of freestyle tricks, whips, flips, and the notorious 360. Bike and rider customization like you've never seen before in a mobile motocross game. Battle head to head with other riders from around the world. Get ready at the gate for the ultimate mobile motocross game created for riders. TIMX. This is Motocross. Download today on the App Store and we'll see you on the track. And it's been a freaking sweet game. That's about all I've been doing is playing this game. Uh, I've been flat out. I'm here in Bavaria, in Germany, and they're putting more restrictions on us every other week. There's a bit more of a breakout over here in Europe. Um, but how is it where you guys are? Are you able to get out and do some more riding? I mean, I'm a hobbit. I don't care. I can sit here quite happily and play TIMX all day long. And yeah, I basically just sit here and inside my garage. This is, this is it for me. Um, I cleaned my bike. That's a, that's definitely a start. I, um, I've cleaned my bike. I haven't cleaned my helmet. I haven't had a shower probably in one week, maybe two weeks. But what are you guys up to at home? Are you able to get out? Are you able to ride a bit more? Let us know in the comments. I'd love to hear how everybody else is getting on with this pandemic all around the world. Uh, we do have some good news coming up very, very soon. Keep your eyes peeled for nightofthejumps.com. We've got some really good news for events in 2021 and uh, we'll release them in the very, very near future, hopefully on nightofthejumps.com. Right, let's just get straight into the gameplay. We're not going to talk too much uh, from here on out. This is the qualifying round of the TIMX EFMX World Championships. And basically we've culled the top 16 riders from all around the world. This is a truly global world championship. We've had riders from every single inhabited continent and we've whittled them down just a little bit over the last couple of episodes. But to get straight into it, um, we're going to have Pat Bowden who beat Dallin Goldman. So the Aussie was up against the South African in the first episode. And Pat just narrowly took the win over Dallin. Dallin had a really good run, actually. But Pat did get him on that one. And he's up against Jose Morales, who had a draw, actually, against Massimo Bianconcini. It was crowd vote. You guys voted at home. And it was equal between Jose and Massimo. So we did rock, paper, scissors. And Jose won. So... Today, Pat Bowden up against Jose Morales. Let's see. All right, let's check out. This is Pat Bowden on a completely, his own bike, his own gear inside the game. That looks so freaking good. The white knight 
going in, some little pop and a wheelie into the first FC Moto ramp. Huge backflip tsunami, double backflip tsunami, sorry. Double heart fronty. Pat can do the fronty. He can do double heart back, he's that good. Oh, nice little heel clicker on that. Set up jump. And then the special flip, super indie flip to the heel clicker, double flip. Whoa, okay, and Can Can on that little setup trick onto the big jump, the huge rock solid backflip on the tier five trick. Little nose wheelie into the step up, nice 360 tier eight trick. It's the bike flip, and he lands it absolutely perfectly. Wheeling on out of there, Pat Bowden. That was a really good run. Uh, I'm actually quite impressed with that one. Looking KTM. He had some problems in the first round, if you remember. It looked like his phone fell into the toilet. Looks like he's maybe pulled it out. Uh, put, put it in the rice and let it dry out a little. Nice turn up. First rider, actually, I think, to do a proper whip inside this game in the whole competition so far. Double backy. No combo, though. Off the long ramp. Another turn up. And he came up short. Okay. It looks like the wheels have fallen off the wagon here for Jose. Knack fronty, completely overshot it. Can he get enough speed for the double backflip heel clicker? He does, he just gets enough speed to make that jump. But actually I wasn't sure if that run was as good as Pat Bowden's. Of course, Pat, he's been playing this game so much lately. Uh, and obviously a very good friend of uh, the, the guys over there at TIMX. He's been sponsored by Aussie Adrenaline for probably 10 years, I would say, by now. So I'd probably say Pat Bowden has the advantage. He's probably played so much in the pre-development of this game. Now it's in beta, and very, very soon the game will be released. So we'll get to the results at the end of this show. Before, in the last two episodes, in the qualifications, you guys were voting. Now this time, it's up to the judges, and we'll see what they say at the end of this competition, the end of this run tonight. I want to say a special thank you to the guys from FC Moto for joining on with Night of the Jumps and TIMX to bring you this all new series. The first time ever freestyle motocross is in virtual sport or eSport. And I've got to say, they are absolutely awesome to jump behind it. They're a huge online company. They have been around for years. They are involved in all things motocross, mountain bike, outdoors, snow. Jump on their website. It's fc-moto.com. They are global. You can get sh everything shipped to wherever you are around the world. So thank you very much, FC Moto. So actually, there's a little bit of news inside the game. They've completely changed the ranking system, which has just come out this week. And let's check out the leaderboard. This is completely different to what it used to be. And you'll find out why there's all these new leagues. There's leagues from the squid to rookie, weekend warrior, amateur, C grade, B grade, A grade, privateer, pro, and world class. Now I'm, of course, I'm heading to world class. That's where I want to be. And I'm actually quite surprised I've landed in the A grade and I was just promoted. You can see there I've been promoted. Um, that's my country. Well, I'm not German, but eh, obviously TIMX has worked out. My IP address is coming from Germany. Uh, but actually, directly above me is Hoffi, who is my neighbor. He lives like two streets away. So I'm going to have to kick his ass 
And if I scroll to the top there, whoo, Rob N O T J. He's making this video right like now that you're watching. Um, so please don't put anything stupid on my face or whatever right now. But he's in third position in the A grade, and I know he was one of the all-time leaders in this game before the reward system has changed. So check it out. It's completely new. This leaderboard is awesome. Love the work from TIA. All right, now the next battle is up between Matej Chezak from the Czech Republic versus Nick Ivankov from Russia. This is the battle of the Eastern Bloc. Russia, of course, if you know your history, well, they basically were running Czech Republic there for a few years. So maybe Matej Chezak really wants to get his own back on the Russian from Moscow, Nick Ivankov. In the first round of competition, actually, Matej, he completely annihilated our five-time world champion, Michael Malero. Michael was good, but Matej, he had such a good run. And Nick Ivankov, it was a vote, basically. You guys, like I said, you were voting at home. It was between Nick Ivankov and his other neighbor, the Finnish rider. All right, now let's see what Nick Ivankov's got for his run against Matej Cezak. He starts out on the tier six tricks into the first FC Moto ramp. Double backflip tsunami. Whoa, he's landed on the back wheel and completely wheeled out of that jump. He probably could have got a double flip, but I think that just completely changed how he's, he was going to approach that. Backflip joy twist. Completely flat landing. He's definitely not the smoothest on the landing, but he's got some big tricks in there. Nice whip on that setup jump. Oh no, it looks like he's uh, maybe been rushed a little bit. Completely jumps over the fun box into a backflip. Special flip, and then a little wheelie into another joy twist backflip. Oh, that was crazy for maybe all the wrong reasons from Nick Ivankov. He was just going long, he just wheeling into that next round. It was crazy he saved me. I actually didn't think he would do that. But let's see, what can Matej Cezak do? What's up guys, here is Matej Cezak from the Czech Republic. I'm right now in Prague, at my home, with my dog on the walk. <laughs> yeah, and now, right now in, in Czech it's quite boring because we got a lockdown in the whole country, so we can't do nothing really, but it's for everybody the same, difficult times, but I believe it will be over soon and we can live uh, normal lives again. Yeah, but luckily we've got the super good game, TIMX, so we can have some fun uh, on the phone at least. And thank you, Steve, for the for the invitation for the weekend for the competition. I will try to do my best, so we will see. And yeah, I just want to say you uh, staying safe, be happy. I know it's difficult, but we can't do nothing with it. We just need to need to get over it, and I believe it will be soon. So yeah, uh, take care, enjoy my run, uh, wish me a luck, and I I hope. We will see each other on some competition or some event soon. So yeah, thank you guys. Take care and see ya. Bye. All right, let's see what Mate Chezak's got. He's got that bike looking exactly like him at home. Wheelie into the first ramp. Perfect backflip cliffhanger into a huge, big old 360. Staying with the tier six, nice whip on that setup jump. Tsunami backflip, that looks just like Matej Chezak these days. He's put some work in onto those tricks. Backflip, heel clicker and Superman on the one. Nice little can-can, rigor mortis backflip. Looking like Adam Jones. Nice little wheelie over the fun box backflip sideshow. What can he do on the final jump? This is the big step up. Backflip 360 double back. It's triple backflip 360 from Mate Chezak. Whoa, -ho -ho. I don't think this will be too difficult for the judges between Nick Ivankov and Mate Chezak, but just wait until the end and we'll give you the wrap up on that one. So at Night of the Jumps, we're all about staying connected. That's basically what we do. We're on the 
road constantly, normally, before COVID-19. We're always traveling the world and we've got so many images and videos from every event that we need to upload and get out there. And we've now teamed up with Team Place. This is an awesome new app, it's online storage. And basically that is making my life so much easier with all the riders that we're working with on this TIMX game and creating this video for you guys at home, all the riders are sending their footage in from all around the world, putting it in the one place on Team Place and I get to see it, Rob at home, he gets to put all this video footage together and it's just so much easier. So thank you very much to Team Place. Make sure you jump on there. You can get, no, I can't remember. There's a whole heap of gigabytes. I, I don't know, 10 gigabytes, five gigabytes, whatever. Jump on teamplace.net and you'll see what you can get for free. And thank you so much. All right, now it's the third matchup in the quarterfinals tonight. And this one is between Pedro Marino from Spain up against Eric Ruiz from Mexico. Now, Pedro, he took down Adam Jones in the last episode. That was a big one. But he had so many people supporting him and he got that fan vote. So let's see if Pedro can keep that going and keep the judges impressed this week up against Eric, who actually only won by about one vote over Fred Carrillos from Brazil. So that was definitely a tight one in the first round of competition. Let's see how Pedro can go up against Eric. Hi guys, I have a battle card to the next TAMX Network Jam and keep going to the final round. Come on guys, you play. All right, there you go, Pedro Marino spending a lot of time in the foam pit working on ramps and jumps and tricks and also a fair bit of time playing TIMX. Let's see what he can do in this first run or his next run against Eric Ruiz. He's starting out, he's double tapped on tier five. Tier five tricks, we'll find out. Huge cliffhanger front flip lands it perfectly into the second jump, the rock solid back flip. Onto the step up jump. Wow, nice whip into a Mike Mason holy grab. Onto the super kicker. Heel clicker, Superman backflip. Second rider to do that. Now he's double clipped the tier four tricks. Maybe that's a good way to get through this. Paris Hilton backflip. That looked like Danny Torres, the fellow Spaniard. Into the step up. Dirt jump, the road over strip, one of my favorite personal tricks. Double backflip 360, triple backflip 360. Another one of those huge tricks that we've seen as that final jump. It's like the double up at night of the jumps. Normally our riders will have seven jumps in uh, qualifying, nine jumps in the main event, and they always get that extra jump as the double up. And it looks like it's the triple backflip 360 that everyone wants to do. Well, not everyone, but definitely the guys who are good at this game. Let's see what Eric Ruiz can throw out and if he can try and sneak through to the semifinals against Pedro Marino. All right, there's the butt patch saying fire from Eric Ruiz. He started out on tier eight. You can see him, he's pumping, he's getting that rider ready to go. Tier six though, in the end, one hand backflip, one in grab, backflip or hard, tsunami Indian front flip, lands on the back wheel, somehow saves it, tier seven for the next dirt jump, rock solid Indian backflip, that was clean as a whistle, sharp as a thistle, double backy, triple backflip, heel clicker, throwing out a triple in the middle of this run, pretty hard, nice huge 360, clean as it to the step up, kiss of death, backflip, a little bit long, wheelies into the final jump, it's a heel clicker, double front, he lands a little bit heavy, and then nose wheelies out of it. So, a good run there by Eric Ruiz, but up against Pedro Marino, whew, this is gonna be a tough one. I wonder what the judges have to say about that one, and I know I say that all the time, but yeah, I wonder what the judges have got to say. I also wanna say a huge shout out to Extreme because I guess a lot of you right now are watching this on the Extreme Facebook live stream, and that's because they're our social media partner for this brand new series, and I can't thank them enough for jumping on board. They've got 25 years of experience in extreme sports, action sports. They've got 25 years, Night of the Jumps, well, they've got 20 years. So it's huge to have so much experience 
especially now with all this content for social media. So thank you very much to Extreme. It's the last matchup for tonight for the quarterfinals, and this is a biggie. This is Taka Higashino up against the unicorn Josh Sheehan. I can't wait to see who comes out better out of this competition. Hey, mate, I'm Taka Higashino. I'm ready for 2025 FMX competition. So keen. All right, so there you go from Taka Higashino. I guess he's getting ready for 2025. Uh, I don't know how old Tucker's going to be by then. I don't even know if he'll be riding freestyle by 25. But hopefully, with Night of the Jumps, we'll be back in action in 2021. So, Tucker, maybe you're being a little bit pessimistic. Or maybe he just wants to play TIMX just that little bit more. But let's see if he can take down Josh Sheehan in this next matchup. Tucker, he took out Javier in the qualification round. Sheeny, well, he's the triple flipper to land the triple flip. And he took down the young buck, J.O. Archer, in the first round. So here we go. Tucker up against the Unicorn. All right, now this is the battle of the ages. Tucker Higashino up against Sheeny. Tier 3 trick. What can he throw down on the first jump? Huge dead body backflip, tier seven. On the second jump, it's the California roll, the trick that Taka Higashino invented. Tier seven, nice whip over that little setup jump. Double knack Indy, no backflip. First time, I think, for everything. Backflip 360, that's the TP roll. That's Travis Pastrana's trick, the only man to ever land that into the bike flip. Oh, well, Tom Pagez. Getting his little bit of love in the game with the bike flip into the Jack. Jacko Strong who created that body burial. And then on the last super kick, a double fronty, no hander. And he lands absolutely perfectly. Flawless run from Taka Higashino. But what can Josh Sheehan do? I, well, not what can he do. Sheehan's just going to have to go big if he thinks he's going to beat Taka on this one. All right, looking at Sheeny's bike there, looking so good with his character, YOLO. That's Sheeny in a nutshell, just looks like him. And let's see what he can do in this run. All right, tier six trick, coming into that first ramp. Sheeny, huge, big whip, upside down whip as it's called in this game, Tsunami Backflip. That is a huge ruler flip from Sheeny. Clicker over that little setup dirt jump into the big dirt jump. Rock solid Indian air. Nice one. Backflip Superman. Triple backflip Superman. And then a backflip can over the setup into the big 120 ramp front flip. Lazy boy over the fun box with a front flip. Fast rider to do it. Special flip on that step up and into the final super kicker. Heel clicker to knack. Triple backflip. Oh, man. I thought Sheeny broke the game in the first qualifying round that we had for this Facebook live stream. But with that run there, that's maybe the best run I've seen so far in this game for Night of the Jumps on TIMX. That was huge. So let's see what the judges have got to say about Sheeny up against Tucker Higashino. 
All right, now it's time for the judges' results, and it was pretty easy from the first round, I think. You guys know it at home. I knew it here. Pat Bowden, well, he took the win over Jose Morales. I think Jose fished his phone out of the toilet. It's looking a little bit better than the, uh, the graphics had in that first game, but it just wasn't enough with those old school tricks that he tried to keep. That was Jose in the old days. But Pat Bowden, definitely one of the innovators in freestyle motocross right now. And he's done that as well in this TIMX game. So Pat will go through to the semi-final. The next battle was between Matej Cezak and Nick Ivankov, the, the old Soviet Union countries. And it was the Czech rider Matej who completely destroyed Michael Malero in the first round of competition. And he's done it again against Nick Ivankov. Nick had the fans behind him in the first round. This time, the judges, they thought that the uh, the tricks were just a little bit... I mean, the tricks were good, but the landings were a little bit over. He was just over jumping it. I did like, actually, how he completely flat landed, landed in a wheelie and wheeled into the ramp. But the judges have said, Mate Cezak, the cleaner rider with the bigger tricks, will go through to the semifinals. And then it was Pedro Marino from Spain, up against Eric Ruiz. And while Eric Ruiz put together a really good run, a lot of variety, it was definitely Pedro who had the, the variety. It was smooth, he had the big tricks. So Pedro just taking a sneaky win over the master from Mexico, Eric Ruiz. And then that final run, this was the big battle for this week of competition. And hang on, hang on. Let's see what the judges, I got a text message here. All right, so the head judge has just texted to say that Tucker Higashino did not go through to the next round. It was Josh Sheehan who put together that huge run. He broke the game, and especially with that back, oh, sorry, front flip over the fun box, which looked so cool. I did not expect that into the step up. All the other big tricks, Sheeny just got the win. It was very, very close, maybe half a point. Hang on, what is it? Okay, it was 99.5 over 99 from Taka Higashino. So that's why Sheeny got the win. And we'll go through to the next round. It's the semi-final. We've got Pat Bowden, Josh Sheehan, Mate Chezak, and Pedro Marino. But also, I want to say thank you for tuning in. Please stay safe at home. And also remember to download the game if you already haven't. It's free to play. It's on iOS and Android. We'll have the link in the description so you don't even have to go searching for it. Just go to the description from this video, click on the link and download it now. And you'll be able to play the Night of the, Tra Night of the Jumps tracks that you've just seen. The tracks look just like the real deal, as if I was commentating inside an arena, which I would much prefer to be doing instead of sitting here inside my garage um, talking to you guys. I mean, I love talking to you guys, but I'd rather do it with a real event. That's what I'm trying to say. So you can now play the Night of the Jumps tracks, but you do need to be a VIP member to be able to do that. The Night of the Jumps course is inside the early access so if you're a VIP member, you do get early access to the new tracks that will be going into the new divisions inside this game. And this track, of course, is there now. It's waiting for you. Jump in the game, grab your VIP membership, and we'll see you on the track. I'm on there playing, so we could even be going battling head-to-head -head inside the Night of the Jumps tracks. Thank you very much for tuning in, and we'll see you next time for the semi-final. It's Sheeny, it's Pat Bowden, Mate Chezak, and Pedro Marino. Catch you later. Woo!